Hi, I'm Rebecca. In this video, I will show you how to start an event photographer's website. I've photographed loads of Gundog events in the past and every single event which I was invited to photograph, I was not paid to photograph the actual event. The only way I made money from the event was by using a Smogmog website and uploading my photos to a Smogmog gallery to be able to get the photos out to everyone who attended the event so that they could buy prints and digital images and anything else they wanted from the galleries. And every single event which I did photograph I made money from simply by using the Smogmog website. So in this video I'll show you how to get started with your event photography to get it online, to get it into a smug mug gallery, to set up your price list, to easily start selling your photography online. Now, by using a smug mug gallery too, it is so user friendly. So once people, once you share your gallery to Facebook or through email, it is so easy once to click on the photos and so obvious how to buy your photos. That's why I made money so easily, because it is so easy. Now, a few tips with event photography. You are going to take a hell of a lot, it doesn't matter what type of event photography you do, but you are going to take a hell of a lot of photos. And what you've got to appreciate is you're not going to sell all those photos and you've got to get out your mind. If you're really into your photography and passionate about it, don't take it personally when you don't sell your photos because you are going to sell your photos through a smug mug gallery dead easily. But with event photography, you're not going to sell all your photos. It's just the way it is, depending what you're doing, whether you're doing a football match or a wedding, or like I did the gun dogs. It is so hard to explain or work out which photos are going to sell. So as you look at your images when you get back from your event and think, oh, which one shall I put in the gallery? What you really need to do when you're doing your event is make sure you get photos of every single person you possibly can at the event, whether it's the winner, the losers, <laughs> new people to the events, try and include everybody and try and story tell within your gallery. So if people weren't at the event, when they're viewing the gallery, they're gonna get a good idea of what actually happened at the event. Try and include everything in and do not get disheartened if you don't sell all your photos because you're not going to sell all your photos from an event but you are by using a smug mug gallery going to sell your photos and I say I can't stress enough there's so many times I've edited photos and thought oh that's not that good I won't put that in and, and I do put them in and the photos you think are going to sell don't sell and then the photos which you've sort of ummed and ahed about do sell so it's so hard to judge what to add in and what not to add in into these galleries to predict what might sell but I can guarantee you will sell your photography or your event photography or any kind of photography by using a smug mug gallery which is what I'm going to show you in this video. Okay so to get started with your event photography website once you've clicked through to smug mug if you click through on one of my links or the link in the video description below you'll get a discount so once you've signed up to smug mug what you want to do is upload photos so your event photography you're going to put into a new gallery so say you've done a particular event you'll give it the title of the event you've done gun dogs and then i can put a description about what the photos are about from the event. The security and sharing, for an event, a big event, if it's a public event, your gallery wants to be public so that everybody can see the gallery. Now you can have an unlisted link, so only anybody with the link can view the gallery. Now this would be ideal for, say, a wedding or kids' parties, something where you want the photos private and just the people who have attended the event to see the images. Ideally, you want to apply a watermark. I've done a full video, which is only four minutes long, how to apply a watermark. It's dead easy. And if you haven't got a watermark, you can create one within Smugmug. And I have got free downloads, so you can upload 
just a copyright symbol to watermark your photos because I do really recommend that you put if you're selling your photos online you need a watermark on them now download buttons this is where you can have your download buttons on you can have the different display sizes so you can have them really really tiny on your website to display but for me I will have the I always have the download buttons off now if someone's paid for the photos already and you're creating a gallery to send them to them that's ideal then to put the download buttons on okay social leave your sharing options on it's up to you if you want comments and your shopping gallery uh, yeah shopping cart you want that on so that you can sell your photos through this gallery now on the portfolio account you do have a default price list so if you've started and think god how do i change the prices it is already set up at quite a decent price what smog mug have set up and i'll show you in a minute how to just change that to the price you want to sell everything for and then the appearance it's basically the style of the gallery, how it's going to appear when people are viewing the gallery, um, whether you've got your camera info and file names. File names are dead handy. If you've got a really big gallery and someone wants to question a photo, at least they've got something to say, well, it's this file number, then, you know, just so much easier if there's a file name. So at least you can find the photo they're talking about. You can create a preset. So... If every single gallery you create for your events are going to have the same settings, give your pre preset a name and then every time you create a gallery for your events, just use that preset and it's got all the settings already in there. And when you come to basics, gallery preset, I've got some already. You can just hit the preset and there you go. You're ready to upload because as soon as you click create, you can start uploading your photos. Ideally, you want to upload your photos the highest resolution possible because if you're going to sell web files and high resolution images, you're not going to be able to sell them. If, you're, if you've uploaded web size files, you can't possibly sell high res files to people, can you? So they all want to be dead high res, high resolution the full maximum size photos now you can do this by either browsing your computer to get your photos uploaded or use some of the free apps you can export straight from Lightroom there's all different options or just do it the standard way of browse your computer find your photos and upload the photos you want in the gallery you can also once you're with SmogMog add on Smugmog source, which is storage for your raw files, which is really good too. And that's exactly the same. All you do is upload them and you can see what you've got. So once you've uploaded your photos, you'll be able to see the gallery of your photos straight away. And you've got the buy photos there because we put the shopping cart, we switched the shopping cart on. Now you, if you're just starting, you won't have managed your price list and set your own prices now if i go in a different browser where i'm logged out you'll be able to see on the default price list you've got a range of paper prints wall art desk art and keepsakes and they are all have a default price on the portfolio account with smogmog so you will be making money if you sell any of those items through the default price list but you can go in and select exactly what you want to sell and the exact price you'd like to sell everything at on the default price list you don't have any downloads so web files high resolution files on the default price list but you can easily just add those on if you're happy with the default price list and you just want to add some downloads to it I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So that's exactly how it'll appear if you don't go in and change anything, which there's loads to choose from. You know, if you're in a panic to sell everything, 
that's as easy as, as it is to get started. Upload your photos, switch on the shopping cart and you're ready to go. Now there's different ways of displaying your photos or your gallery to people as well. So if you click the settings, that will take you back to the gallery settings. And if you go to appearance, you've got gallery style. And there's different layouts, including a slideshow. So if you wanted to, let's save that. And we should have just a nice slideshow. It's all different. Let's go for another one. This is another good way, which is a collage landscape, I think. Just straight away, you can hit them with all the photos and can just click on any photo. And then they would be able to obviously click on the photo and that would take them through. And then again, you've got the buy photo and then they can choose exactly what they would like to buy straight from the gallery. It's that easy. To add in the digi digital downloads or to change the price list, all you need to do in the top bar, you want the selling tools. Oops, click that. Price list and you want to manage the price list. And this is your default price list from SmugMug. You can edit the list. And all you can do is click on any of the products and then just edit the price or you can delete the product. If you want to bring in the downloads, you want to choose products. And here is where you've got your downloads. You can sell your videos on here. There's all sorts. So for your photos, single photo, if you're doing your events, website, low res, high res in the original. If you're doing a private commission, you've got gallery. There's all sorts you can do. So you can just add those in. So if you tick, well, if you tick there, it'll add them all in. Click done. I think at the bottom or somewhere on here. Here we go, they're at the top. And then you can just put the price in, what you want to sell. Your downloads out. Now I'll give you a little tip here. A lot of people nowadays want web size files. And if you're just starting out, do not feel as though you have to do your photography really cheap. About four years ago, I bought two dog show photos, web size for £17 each. Okay, so don't be selling them for three, four quid. Put the price up because a lot of people will be buying these for the websites rather than buying the high resolution. So like you would think, oh, £5 for the web, maybe £30 for the high res really stick the price up on those web files okay and your low res files because they'll be using them on social media they'll be using them all over the place so yeah don't do yourself out of money there and you can put exactly what you want in those boxes okay and then once you've set your prices up apply changes i'll go back to the price list I'll go back to that gallery and I'll show you that it's added those downloads on. Okay, so we'll go in the other browser where they were before. Let's refresh the gallery, buy photo, and there you go, your downloads are on. And you don't need to sell all those. You don't need to sell the, I never sell the original when, um, I mean, it's up to you what you want to sell. Usually a low, a web, a web size and a, High res is what I sell. I don't sell the in-between and I don't sell the original, but it's entirely up to you what you want to sell. This will just have the default 95p on. I mean, because we've not changed the price there, but once you change the price, where I've just shown you to, it's just dead easy. It's all set up. And I do have a full video on how to set up your price list for the portfolio account. I'll put the link in the description below to that. So really, once you have uploaded your photos to your Smogmog gallery and you've set up your price list, it is a case of hitting that share button, copying the link and share it, email it, put it on Facebook. You can do whatever you like with that link. 
get it out there and get your photography out there and then people can start buying straight away from that gallery. It is that easy. Now, if you want to add more photos to the gallery you're selling from, just easily hit upload if you're on the gallery and you can add more photos to that gallery. Or if you go to the organize area, that's going to take you to where the photo galleries are. And also, it's worth knowing that every single photo you upload to these galleries, these Smogmog galleries, are actually securely stored online. And you can store as many photos as you like because it's unlimited photo storage. So you can store a load of your photos off your hard drives and your USBs or anywhere else you've got photos into a gallery. And if you don't want anyone to see them, just set the gallery to private. OK, because you really can store as many photos as you like in here. And what you could also do with doing is creating yourself a bit of a website, which is the photo site you want to be on. Now, all you need to do here, once you're on the photo site, is click these three vertical dots and you've got new site design. That's going to take you through to all the free website templates. So you can make a start on a portfolio for your event photography. Here is all the free portfolio website templates. There's loads to choose from. Now, if you're just starting and you've just got a few photos, don't worry about it. What have we got? Jasper. Let's preview Jasper. And then you're going to choose this design, customize. OK, so what you've got here is just a simple slider. And if you click on the wrench, it's choosing the recent photos at the moment. Photos choose. If you've got all the photos uploaded, you just basically going to choose your photos. It's going to take you back to your gallery. If the key to this is less is more. So don't think if you've just started, you need to put loads and loads of photos on. Just put your very, very best on. So just choose the gallery where you would like your photos to come from and they can come from more than one gallery. So if I wanted one photo, just click on the photo. And if I went back to home, it would take me back to all the other photos what are stored so I could choose another photo out of another gallery. OK, um, but mine are all going to be in here, what I'm going to choose from. And I say you don't need to go mad filling it. You can just choose a few photos, choose your best photos to display on the front for your portfolio. There is controls as well. So if you want to loop the images or speed up the carousel on this particular website template, and then you can preview the design. Let's have a look. So you've just got a handful of images. So basically when someone is on your gallery, I'll show you in a minute, they'll be able to look above the gallery and because they're going to be on your website when that in that gallery. And nine times out of ten, people will come and have a nosy what you're about if they don't know who you are. So they're going to come to your homepage. And if you've got a handful of nice images and create yourself an about page and also fill in your contact details, You've created a bit of a website as well as having your photos online what are for sale. So if you were happy with that design, you would just click publish. And there you go. You've got already started a website. And again, if we go back, once you've got more photos, all you will do is click the wrench icon and then just add more photos by clicking the photo, you know, the photos, it will take you back again and you can add to your website. If you're just starting out, it's a way of starting really easily. So let me just show you in the other browser. So if someone was on your gallery, having a look at your, the photo gallery, and then they look above, this is the original website I've got with Smugmog, and they click home, it's going to take them straight to the home page of the website. And it's just people's automatic reaction to have a look around. 
so they can get in touch straight away they see a dog and nine times out of ten my photos what are being sent out a dog photo so they know they're in the right place contact button there and well that's going to take you through to the smug monk tutorials but if you're stuck an about page there it could tell you all about you as an event photographer and they know they're in the right place when they go to buy off your out of your gallery well i hope that video has helped a bit if you're thinking of doing event photography or looking to start your event photography website and start selling your photography online hopefully that's helped a bit i do have more smug monk tutorials so if we click through there on this page there's a, a few more videos we've got the contact form we've got how to set up a page and i will be doing how to do a full portfolio website for your photography there's all kinds of different bits and bobs and i am adding more all the time to this smug mug, to the smug mug tutorials okay if you're not with smug mug there is a discount in the description below in the video and on the website thanks for watching <laughs>